Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to check out the channel Reflecting Upon Life. Here we have a sister that uploaded a video called Question for Men. Why is it hard to marry divorced or widowed? So I saw that she was honestly asking her viewers to answer in the comment section, but I might as well simply record a response video to this. But guys, before we start, as always, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. So I have a question, and this question goes out to all the Muslim men out there or or should i just generalize the question to just men out there yeah the question can definitely be generalized because men are men and ultimately intuitively we are attracted to pretty much the same thing um, feel free to leave in the comment section um i would like to know your answers so the question for today is why is it so hard for a man to accept a divorcee with children this is my question please enlighten me with your answers because i would love to know your answers yeah the matter is very simple because a divorcee comes with baggage ultimately the first question that you have to ask yourself is why did she get divorced if you look into the modern day statistics you will find that most of the time women actually initiate divorces and therefore this could be already the first red flag the second thing that arises of course are the children because now you get into a whole new mess we're not talking about the olden days where men died in wars and now you have to take care of widows and their children. No, we're talking about divorcees that potentially initiated the divorce themselves and now they're left with children and of course there is another man in their life. Even though they are divorced, their ex-husband will always be part of their life because he wants to take care of his children, the children that are now spending time with the mother instead of with the father. So therefore getting into the situation is a whole mess and it could be easily avoided by marrying a virgin ideally or a woman that hasn't been married. This has been a struggle. Uh, if I say struggle, yes, it's a struggle for many sisters out there, including myself. It's hard for a man to accept a woman with children. They always yes. avoid um, getting married to these lovely ladies who've been divorced, who have, mashallah, blessings of having children. Yeah. Yeah, those very lovely ladies, which marriage already has failed. Why was that? That is the real question. Of course, if they were so lovely, why did they get divorced? Okay, I'm not saying that every single time it is the woman's fault, but nevertheless, of course, men will be careful when it comes down to it. And moreover, yet again, the children... As a man, you want your genetic lineage. You want to create your offspring and teach your offspring your ways. That is just natural. That is intuitive. This is what we as men want to do, ideally. And therefore, to take care of another man's child is ultimately cuckery. And when I say cuckery, I'm not talking about this modern-day degenerate lingo. I'm talking about the cuckoo bird, believe it or not. This is a bird that lays its eggs in other nests and then other birds take care of their eggs and hatch the birds. And so ultimately, this is a parasitic way of life. And most men won't subscribe to that. Most men simply want their own children. It's normal. And yet they turn them down. And it yes. is sad because this is not what our Islam teaches us. If you look no, at the life of the Prophet wasallam, he married divorcee. Um, he married a woman with children. So he is a prime example for us. He's a he's a prime mentor for us. So why don't we learn from his life? He was sent to us 
to learn from him, right? All right. So first I have to say that we cannot replicate everything that the Prophet did, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because ultimately he was a Prophet and he, for example, married more than just four wives. Muslim men, on the other hand, are limited to four wives. However, if you look into his wives, and I have a little list here, there you will see that Zeynep, for example, yes, she was previously married, but she had no children whatsoever. The same goes for Sophia. She was initially married to a Jewish leader, but then she became widowed, and she had no children either. And the same reasoning can be applied to the other wives. If you look into Juwaria, for example, she was widowed as well, with no children whatsoever. Only Selema had children, however, she was a widow. And this basically brings us back to my initial argument. Yes, of course, the Prophet did marry widows, but when you marry a widow, the man is out of the picture, right? This is a completely different scenario. Now, on the other hand, you're looking after the children of another man, and that man is still in your life. No sane man wants to subscribe to this. So why are these men out there refusing to to get married to these women who are yeah, why? already because I explained. divorced and they have children so where are these women supposed to go then right so this is my question please enlighten me with your answers oh all right guys and this is it for today's video if you liked it leave the thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out the links in the description box below to further support my work and as always may god bless you all much love and peace. Ya nafsu illam tadfari la tajzai. Ah.